In this fun-packed episode, we head to Baraloche with snow-capped mountains, lakes and forests. We share a Christmas on the road with other overlanders and then we head over to Chile for New Year's and a very cold dip in a lake with friends. And a very good morning from the coast of Argentina. Today we have to say goodbye to the east coast of South America and head on over as our journey starts crossing the Pampas heading east into further in, further into Patagonia heading towards Baranoche and after that we'll cross the Andes again um, and heading into Chile been camping with the Buzzingtons on the road for a few days um, they are still in their natural environment um, sleeping in the morning away we are slowly packing up after a brilliant two days while camping very close to the beach this water's just over the hill but um, we are a bit earlier up than them by a few hours um, and getting ready to eat the road bye bye sea bye bye say but bye to the sea I'll see you again yes one more day <laughs> and on the other side of the continent again yeah. but I really enjoyed the the beach week here on this side it reminds us a lot of home of the west coast rugged and cold sometimes but great So after speeding west from the coast and after about 600 kilometers of pretty flat, quite boring road, we came over a rise, um, just here, leaving the, the asphalt there and suddenly we can see the Andes again, snow-capped mountains. It's a sunny day but the wind is dipping coming from the snow and it is just an amazing view. Are you ready for the mountains again? Are you ready for the cold? No. Are you ready for the snow? No. Okay. At least well, one of us is ready and excited. Let's go and visit Baraloche and the lakes and the mountains. As we headed to Baraloche, we were very grateful that we've been planning a get-together for Christmas with other overlanders. Our last Christmas was spent in Brazil and was very lonely. Karin really missed her friends and family. So this year, we made sure we did it differently. It was also easy in, in Patagonia in the summer, as there were loads of overlanders heading south. WhatsApp groups was a great help to get different people, each on their own schedule, to get together in one place. We headed to the campsite for our Christmas gathering. We were joined by a diverse group of people from all over the world. From a guy traveling on a motorbike with a dog, to a couple in a big ex-military truck. We spent a great five days barbecuing and just connecting with people, sharing stories and advice. Each making a dish from their home country to share. Then we scattered again going our separate ways, with the hope that we would connect again somewhere in Patagonia. Not making definitive plans, as most overlanders hated planning ahead. No. Stay weird, huh? No, but... Yeah. <laughs> Stay weird. I mean, he, he doesn't I want to have pressure on himself to plan. Yeah. So yeah. set him free to do his thing. Yes, I and mean, then we know why... Are you still filming? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 I've been looking at stuff, so it's yeah. possible that yeah. we cross into Chile Sunday or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Monday is New Year. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. see you for New Year! Yeah. yeah! And after that lovely Christmas, we are heading through the lakes around Baraloche. Still pushing on towards Chile. It's a very windy day out, but it's a lovely, lovely scenery. 
we hope to cross um, into Chile tomorrow um, and then we will be on the Carretera Austral heading south yes. lots and lots of pine trees already we are definitely in Patagonia now with snow capped mountains and, and lots and lots of forest but very windy yeah, it's a very windy day it was so mooi tranquilo in the campsite. No, the moment we stepped our feet out. Yeah. And it's time to say ciao Argentina for a few weeks and hola Chile. Well, we were lucky to have a wheelchair with us because it went quick through the border. Um, it's really weird being such a busy tourist season in a very touristy place. Um, as for the first time, there's loads of people crossing the border. We've just passed through Argentinian uh, border and it's about 50 k's through a beautiful mountain settings. Um, we're getting closer and closer to the snow-capped mountains before we'll enter um, Chile. But yeah, it'll be cool. uh, what? Jolie. What? It sounds like you, you mentioned which, which current country we're going. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it, it's easy in the next No, it's easy. It's because it's only Chile, Argentina, yeah. and Chile. So it's more difficult to confuse. But just look at these views. Our hearts jumped with excitement when we spotted our first cone shaped volcano as we knew that the famous Carretera Austral or Ruta 7 South is getting closer. So it's the end of 2023 today and we are again heading towards uh, the Basitans meeting up for New Year celebration next to the beautiful lake with the very long name it starts with double L that we can't pronounce um, and this will be our last, we think our last meetup of the our favorite Euro trash to um, before we say permanently goodbye. We thought we said goodbye in Argentina, uh, but we did it. They hopped over the border uh, just behind us, and we are meeting again. It'll be good to spend the new year with some nice friends. Yes, we had a lovely Christmas, and so we just want to continue in that vibe. Maybe like this? Yeah. Yeah. Just like this? Yeah. That will give you plenty of sun? Not too close to the No, no. <laughs> like this maybe. We spent a lovely New Year on the beach next to the lake, but the water was extremely cold. But we did bravely take at least one dip. late into the night and the next morning Karin, Annie and Ben could go for a nice hike. The first of many hikes Karin would do in Patagonia. Okay so today is the 1st of January 
2024 and I am with Annie and Ben, the Buzzingtons. We are doing a quick hike to the Cascades or waterfalls and yeah, you can actually hear them before you see it. It's really beautiful. Have a look. It reminds me a bit of um, Naisna, the bushes and the vegetation. It's quite busy here today, being a holiday. Oh, look at that. Oh, the whole cliff is covered in ferns and other small plants. So look. Wow. Beautiful. Nice. How high do you think this is? 50 meters? 30? I would say more. 60. 60 meters. Would... So pretty. Nice. You can actually feel the the the, the power of the waterfall on you. It's like, Greens. Refreshing. There is like mist coming down. Oh, this is very pretty. This does feel a bit like it was a fault because we are getting quite wet. Bye, Bye Louis. Louis. Bye, guys. Oh, so have a fun. lovely time. You do enjoy your yeah, last yeah, uh, yeah, weeks, yeah, months. Okay. Power <laughs> hog. Cheers, brother. Yeah, man. Thanks for everything. Oh, yeah. Thank you. For fuck's sake, don't. Hasta, Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Adios. Bye. In our next episode, we head down the Carretera Austral, doing a lot of hiking, including one with a smoking mountain. We hop on a ferry and we explore the sights of Patagonia as our summer road trip continues. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.